Right now, there is a fight underway in Lansing involving stolen scrap metal. Yeah, it's a problem we all know well, much too well about. Uh, 7 Action News reporter Simon Chiquette joins us right now with the scrap yard battle and who's holding this thing up, Simon? Stephen and Carolyn, we were the only Detroit station at the Capitol as Mayor Duggan worked to rally support against illegal scrapping. This is a problem destroying lives, and a few lawmakers seem to be in the way. On the front lines of the fight to bring Detroit back, Pastor Keith Hill is finding himself in an uphill battle. Since he bought this former DPS middle school in Brightmore in May of 2012, it's been a repeated target for scrappers. It just makes you shake your head it, it, at how it, somebody could be so yeah, destructive. It's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Just look at the before and after. Pastor Hill was hoping to start up a trade school and a church. Instead, they took everything that wasn't nailed down. I cry. I mean, literally cry because I could have just immediately opened up this place. But because of the damage of the scrappers, it set me back two years. But now as Pastor Hill picks up the pieces, as countless churches, schools, and homes are stripped, the tide against scrappers is finally turning. The scrappers, right? They are tearing the city apart. Critical to stopping them, Mayor Mike Duggan said in his State of the City address, is getting lawmakers in Lansing to pass one piece of legislation. A key point in the bill, scrappers would be paid with a check that would be mailed to a real address or wire transfer money to a bank account. A three-day hold on payment is also up for debate. The, the crackheads and the heroin addicts, you know, they want that quick fix money. So if you can deny them the access to the quick money, we think you're going you're gonna to go a long way to, to solving this problem. As former head of the Detroit FBI, Andy Arena has seen it all. It was his agents who made the case against former Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick. Today, as head of the Detroit Crime Commission, a consortium of law enforcement agencies partnering with the business community, Arena has made the battle against scrappers his top priority. He knows what they're after. Copper wire, catalytic converters, and air conditioning units. And he knows the bill in Lansing would be a game changer. It gives a paper trail for law enforcement to, to track. The same with a bank account. There's just one problem. The scrapyards are fighting it, and they've got the attention of enough lawmakers that the bill is tied up. Senator Colwall, who was the chairman of the committee, did, did not believe he could get the votes. I'm not sure about that. You know, the senators we talked to, uh, we think there is a, a, a support out there for this. Senator Mike Kowal from White Lake is among Senate members who don't entirely agree with Duggan and Arena. Instead of a three-day waiting period, he believes a database that tracks scrappers could stop them. How does a database help when criminals are walking in the door with a fake ID? You don't know who they are or where they live. Well, you don't, but, you know, there again, we are taking their thumbprint. Criminals are pretty ingenious, and that's why we're trying to constantly try to invent new ways of catching them. Don't you see value in a three-day hold? They would have to bring in extra personnel, hire more people just to handle that. Mayor Duggan isn't buying what the scrapyards are selling. Only Action News joined the mayor recently at the state capitol during a trip lobbying for tougher laws. Enough's enough. We've got to stop this. We want the check mailed to the name and the address on the ID because there's a lot of people selling with fake IDs. As we hit the halls to question lawmakers ourselves, we heard the same thing over and over. There's bipartisan support. It's illegal scrapping. It's devastated the city of Detroit. We can't afford to wait. I certainly believe it, urgency is, is called for. It's a huge problem. A huge problem that Pastor Hill is desperately trying to conquer. His vision for a school, a church, replacing blight. But I find that people that have no skills and don't go to college feel like they don't have hope. We're bringing hope. But he can't do it alone. There's got to be tougher laws. Now there is some good news. Governor Snyder has said he will sign a bill by the end of the month if the parties can come together. It's up to us all to keep the pressure on. Stephen and Carolyn? And we know you will, Simon. We'll be following you and your story. Yeah, somebody's got to put a stop to that scrapping. Yes, indeed. The mayor's right. It's tearing the city apart.